Hello, my wellness warriors. Have you been feeling a nudge towards spiritual subjects? Mm, I know why. Hi, I'm intuitive healer, author, and warrior for your wellness, Trisha Gumberg. We're talking about the universal energy of 2020, and I'll give you a daily reading. Okay, why are you feeling this push towards the spiritual? First of all, Neptune is in Pisces. That's a very spiritual energy. That's going to be with us for a little while longer. I think 2025, correct me if I'm wrong. Then we have March being a seventh month because we take the three plus the four, that is 2020, and that gives us seven. Seven is, a, is the mystic. It's a very spiritual number. It's also the inquirer, you know, wants to learn things, the number seven. That's why you're feeling that nudge. Um, it's probably why I got the nudge to post these videos because I have a seven in my numerology. I have some more learning that I need to do. And I love learning metaphysical. Okay, the energy of today. We take the day, the month, the year. So we already know the year is four. We already know the month is three. That's seven. And we're adding it to five. That's 12. That gives us a three. I'm looking at my numerology cards for this reading. It has attributes of the number three on these cards. And I use my intuitive abilities to pick my cards. So I get a little signal in my body. Oh, this, okay, all righty, three. This is my favorite aspect of the number three. That is creativity. <laughs> I like to tell people that when you have a lot of threes in your chart or three in your life path, and now this is how you figure out your life path. This year here, of course, is your date of birth. And then you add it together, you get a double digit and you add it again. And then this is your life path number. If you have a three anywhere here, this creative energy could be like, if you're not expressing it, it could be like an episode of Hoarders <laughs> where you got all this junk inside and you're holding it close and people think you're a lunatic, right? Because you, you're holding it. Yeah, you feel vulnerable. Uh, you don't want to expose it. You don't want to explore your creative energy and um, you need to. Okay. Creative, please use your creative energy today, today. All my entrepreneurs, what creative aspect of your business do you like to do? It's also about communication. Uh, is there a way in your business that you could communicate to others what you do? Could you write it? Could you speak it? Could you answer questions on Quora? Um, I just posted about that on my uh, my personal Facebook page. So maybe that's the answer. Maybe if you're listening and you own your own business, you need to go to Cora for support. Okay, we're going to uh, to support your business and answer questions there. Communicate what you do. Okay, these are Ask Your Guide cards. I split the deck and I'm looking for my signal. And I keep splitting the deck until I get a smaller stack. This way I don't have to touch every card. But while I'm picking a card, take your bottom of your belly breaths, your bobs. I'm just gonna check to make sure that there's not another card. Nope, okay. I like how the how the universe plays along, right? I'm decided to pick two cards and my signal just gives me two cards. Competition. Okay. Competition. Let me I just got a hit on I said to myself, is there such thing as healthy competition? And I got a yes. I, 
uh, for a while there, I thought that, you know, com being competitive was, uh, ah, okay, got it. Okay. Whew, okay. From the heart. Okay, this is good. You see here, that was my clue about the being competitive. Okay, from the heart. What was my advice about the creativity? It was to go to Cora or or some place and communicate what you do. Com communicate when you're. Uh, that makes you competitive in your business when you're giving from the heart. And this it repeats our message from yesterday that our caring uh, needs to come from our heart and our we're competing against others as entrepreneurs uh and if it's heart based that's it's a little bit different <laughs> it's a little bit different also that reminds me to go check out your competition who is your biggest competition and what are they doing <laughs> um yeah look at what they're doing uh, what makes them your competition and then uh, can you use your creativity uh, as uh, mm, to help you be more competitive? Mm, let's think about that for a minute. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Use your creativity today. It will help you say yes to who you are. And until next time, know that I love you.